Hi everybody, this is Josh from Padcaster on a gorgeous fall day here in Manhattan. I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So here at Creative License, we're about the technology and technique of mobile filmmaking. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, leave good feedback, tell us the kind of stuff you want us to do in future episodes. But today, all about the new phones. It's very exciting news. I happen to have one here with me. This actually is the, this is actually the 3GS. This was the first iPhone that ever shot video at 480p. So that's actually barely video at all, but it did it. That was my mom's phone, by the way. This isn't it either. This is a 4S that shot at 720p. Not a bad advancement. But where the hell is my 11? Hold on. Oh, this is a 5S that shot 1080p. Oh my gosh. This is it. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Actually, this is a great phone, a 6S. This shot 4K. This was Apple's first 4K phone. Um, still not my 11. It's in here. It's definitely the 7 Plus. Okay, so this is actually Apple's first dual lens phone. It had a wide angle lens and a telephoto lens built into it, and it shot 4K as well. For some reason, well, I only have one pocket left, so this has to be the 11. This has to be it. Hold on a second. Actually, this is my 10. This is my actual working phone, 10S, has dual lens, wide and telephoto, shoots 4K, slow motion. The lenses are getting faster at this point. There's no other, oh, the big boy. So this is the 10X, the X, iPhone XS Max. I'm losing track here. Um, this is your phone, the guy shooting, Peter over there. Massive piece of gear. It's like talking into a sandwich to me, but for some reason, oh wait. All right, here they are. This is the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, okay? We're gonna talk about these, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a history lesson on all the phones that came before it and how they've evolved. And this is the 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max. Now, the exciting thing for us is that these cameras have three lenses on the back, a wide, a telephoto, and an ultra wide. Now, these lenses are a lot like the ones that would have been found on these really old timey film cameras. And they're like this one here. You would have had three lenses, like an ultra wide or a wide angle lens and a telephoto lens. And what you would be able to do is you would actually just turn the turret and you'd switch to the telephoto. You'd turn it again and you would switch to the wide and you would turn it again and you would turn and it would be on the ultra wide angle lens. Now, this is great, but it's not the kind of camera that we would use today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the same version of this, but on an iPhone instead, okay? So now we're gonna look at the lenses themselves. It has the same wide angle lens, that's a 26 millimeter lens, a telephoto, that's a 52 millimeter lens, and now this super wide 13 millimeter lens. And you might ask yourself, why do I want all of these lenses on my phone? Well, if you wanna do bigger landscapes, the 13's great. Um, and then you have the same sort of portrait mode effect that you would get with the 26 and the 52. But in video mode, and this is more important maybe for the podcaster users out there, you can actually do a hybrid optical digital zoom between all three lenses. That's what I'm gonna show you here now. It works the same way on the 11 Pro as it does on the 11 Pro Max, but I'm gonna fire up the phone and I'm gonna do a screen recording so you can see exactly how it works and I'll narrate it through so you can have a look at it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna do a screen recording and I'm gonna launch the camera app. I'm gonna go into video mode and I'm gonna point it out here so we can get a sense of what these different cameras are. You'll see on the screen it says 0.5. That's this ultra wide look. Um, that's the 13. The 1X is the 26 at millimeter lens. There goes a pedicab. And then a 2X, this is the 52 millimeter lens. Now you can record in either one. And I'll record, I'll hit record and then I can, while I'm recording, I can go from the ultra wide to the standard wide to the telephoto. But what I can also do is I can press and hold this down and it gives me a zoom dial. And what it actually does is between 0.5, that ultra wide 13 and the 26, that's a digital zoom in there. It's using the ultra wide lens, but it's digitally zooming in until it gets to this one lens. And you can even see it sort of snaps from one lens to another as it goes from 0.5 to one because it's actually switching over from the ultra wide lens to the wide lens. And it's doing the same thing. It's digitally zooming from one to two and then once it gets to two, it's actually, you can see this little bump, it's a cut, it's switching to the telephoto 52 millimeter lens. And then everything out here, and you can see it actually gets sort of pixelated, is a digital zoom to this 6X. That's all digital to two here. That's the 52 millimeter lens at work. This is zooming back digitally to 
the 26, digitally zooming back to the 13. So it's sort of a hybrid optical and digital zoom, but it's not like you're actually using an optical zoom lens to get from 13 to 52. You're taking a couple steps in between. So it's weird. It's not an optical zoom. It's not a digital zoom. It's somewhere in between. To me, it's, it's kind of like old meets new. It's like having that turret lens camera where you have to switch over. And it's kind of like having a zoom lens that you can actually optically zoom in and out, like the camcorders that we, you know, people still use, but you know, we're kind of more popular in the, in the 90s. But this is a little bit of both. So it has the ability to get you from great distance to a 52, which is pretty tight. And it has the ability to do it almost with this sort of smooth motion as if you're doing it with a traditional optical zoom lens. So that's kind of what we got on this thing. We're gonna do more tests, obviously, uh, with the Padcaster app, let you know what it looks like. I love it. I can't wait till we're done testing it so that I can actually transfer my plan over to it and use it as my phone. Um, and since I scratched it during this video, I think there's really no other way to go with this. I have to take it. I'll take it for the team. I will. That's the kind of guy I am. This is Josh from Padcaster. This is Creative License, where we explore the tech and technique of filmmaking on mobile. We'll see you next time.